Tonight, reaction to the biggest court ruling in decades in the battle, uh, in the abortion battle. In a five to four vote, the U.S. Supreme Court denied an emergency challenge to the Texas heartbeat bill, allowing the most restrictive abortion ban in the country to go into effect. 12 News, Anna Farish is live at the state capitol with what this could mean for Mississippi. Anna? Well, there's question if other states could follow Texas's lead. Now, the Texas law prevents unborn babies with a heartbeat from being aborted. Those who provide services or have an abortion could face civil action. This fall, the Supreme Court is expected to hear arguments in Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization, which challenges Mississippi's 15-week abortion limit. The court will consider whether all pre-viable limits on abortions are constitutional. Now, I spoke with Shannon Brewer, who says this is a setback for women. This is a setback for women. This does not stop women from having abortion. This only stops women from having safe, safe abortions. That's all that, that is doing. They're saying that they're pro-life. In the midst of COVID, where they're fighting for children to not wear face masks, so you're, you're basically killing children in a classroom while you're saying that women shouldn't have abortions. That makes no sense to me. President Biden blasted Texas's law as an extreme and promised to launch a, quote, whole-of-government effort to respond. Now, Georgia and Alabama are also waiting on similar rulings. The group Texas Values praised the ruling and says that they hope to see an end to abortions. Now, I did reach out to several lawmakers, former lawmakers, the Catholic diocese, and I reached out to some pro-life groups as well about Texas's ruling and haven't heard back. Live at the Capitol, Anna Farish, 12 News.